Hey guys, welcome back to this mess. This is gonna be probably my favorite thing I've ever made on this channel, and I hope you will like it too. And I hope that that stupid lawnmower shuts the actual f up soon. <laughs> So like most people, I kind of forget that Sims exists for like six or seven years and then I will play it for three months straight. And we are currently in the middle of that sweet spot three months where I am just like only doing Sims. I work, sleep, Sims. That's my life right now. An idea came to my mind while I was playing Sims and watching uh, Cody Ko and Noelle Miller play the Love Island game like way back in the day. It kind of gave me the idea of like, oh, how cool would it be if I made a Sims Love Island? And that's what we're doing today. Not, this is not an original idea. I did look it up. There's a few people who have done something similar to what I'm doing today, or if not the exact same thing, but I wanna do it. This is my version of Sims Love Island, and let me tell you, it's already chaotic. I'm hoping to make this interactive. Like, I want you guys to vote down below after every episode who you wanna kick off the island or if you want a new guy or girl to come in because I don't care if this isn't successful, I'm gonna keep doing this. This is absolutely hilarious to me. And I've also already made the Love Island Villa, which we're gonna get to that in a minute. Before we get to the villa, we have to meet our contestants. So the way I want to go about creating characters is I've kind of decided to model each of the female contestants after one of the original Bratz dolls. So the original quartet of Bratz dolls was Chloe, Jade, Yasmin, and Sasha. So those are the girls that are going to be in the Love Island Villa. So we're going to start there and then we'll get into the guys. I kind of don't care about the guys. <laughs> And before I get a, a moment further into all of this, I need to preface and say that I am not good at games. I don't play games to get good. I play games to have fun. I'm just trying to have some drama, okay? I think I'm gonna do Jade first, cause Jade's my favorite. I'm gonna try and be as hands off as possible, but we need to get there first. So let me just get this bitch together. I kind of like that. <laughs> I kind of like that. I know the whole top knot is so out. Like nobody really does that anymore, unless you do. Do you? I don't, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. I wish we had something similar to what Jade had. Okay, I kind of like that. I'm making an executive decision. We're doing the space buns. For her party look, ooh, eh. <laughs> Let's do something colorful. She looks like the kind of girl that would do like hair chalk or some shit. Okay, now it's just giving like third grader. Hold on. A purple, purpley red, bricky, red, purpley, brick, orange, terracotta moments. One of those. Ooh, we do have to pick the villain, don't we? <gasps> maybe we'll, maybe we'll make one person mischievous. We'll make one person mischievous. Maybe not Jade. Okay, outfit. So for formal wear, I'm gonna make this their like date outfit. So it's gotta be something sexy, but not too sexy, but cute, but not that cute. You know, it's gotta be the right amount of sexual. Ooh, we'll just give her like a full ass bridal dress. <laughs> Jade is the girl that falls in love with her guy like the first day. I never understand that. Just a quick side tangent while I'm looking for a dress. I find it so crazy that every time they start a new season, there's always one bitch who gets paired up with somebody and thinks that they're the end game. Like, oh my God, he's the first guy I'm in love with. I'm going to stay with him. He's mine, blah, blah, blah. Like, girl, please. Did I just accidentally make an outfit already? Oh my God, look at that. Saving time. Let's change it to pink though. Yes, bitch. White shoes. Oh, perfect. All right, party outfit, party time, party rock anthem. Party Rock is in the house tonight. I always think about this. If I was on Love Island and one of the days in the villa, they're like, hey, we're throwing you a party. I'm The whole time I'm gonna be like, when's the shit hitting the fan? When's the, the drama gonna happen? What's the catch? Because they never do anything special for the, for the Islanders unless there's like some shit happening behind the scenes. So now that we have all the physical aspects of Jade down, let's get to her personality, which is really the reason everyone goes on Love Island, right? I think I'm gonna make Jade a foodie. I'm gonna make her like a food oriented type person. Uh, mixology, sure. Hey. Photography, yeah. Writing, no, we don't do writing. Like Jade's gonna be really, really nice, but not that smart. 
She likes pop music. She likes S-pop, which I think is Sims version of K-pop, which is very clever. Now let's get into specifics. <gasps> Jealous? No, 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 no. We're gonna have somebody in the house be one of those girls, but not Jade. She's not like that. Oh, clumsy, perfect, right there. The banana peel. Oh. You good? Cool. So this is Jade. Next person. We're going to make ourselves a Sasha. Oh, she's pretty. We'll do her. I like her bone structure. I just hit random on Sims until I get to a predetermined Sims that I like their facial features. Pretty. I kind of like the red hair too. Should we keep? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to keep it. I like this red hair. It's pretty. I'm going to keep the color. I don't know if I'm going to keep that style. Sasha is going to be like the girl that stops the drama. She doesn't start it, but she's gonna fucking stop it, let me tell you. You don't really see that many girls with pixie cuts on Love Island. I wonder if that's a thing. Perfect. Jade does her hair for swimming. That'd be cute. Sasha's gonna be that girl this season. She's gonna end up with the most followers once the show's done. I'm gonna make her a little bit more physically fit. And I I'm gonna make her like a bombshell. Like she's gonna be like a force to be reckoned with. Too many studs. If there was like 5% less studs, then definitely. A skirt? No, this is maybe not turning out the way I liked it to do. No, these are like accountant pants. That's not what we're going for. How live, laugh, love is that dress? <laughs> yeah. Some. Oh my God, look at her. She looks like a, a, a Malibu Barbie. I guess maybe I should have made all of their goals in life to be love because that's kind of the goal of the game. But I also kind of want to make them like personalities because like, yeah, they're on Love Island to find love or whatever, but you know, they were people before and they're gonna be people after. Plus what else are they gonna to use to market themselves when they have like 15 minutes of fame? Let's make her athletic. I think she just wants to be like a bodybuilder or some kind of like really, you know, more self-motivated than anything else. Pop music, retro music, and also as pop because her and Jade are gonna be best friends. I can already tell. She's gonna be the one that pushes Jade to stand up for herself, for sure. She's very confident. I want her to be confident. Now this is gonna be Yasmin. I want Yasmin to be a little bit more of like the natural girl. You know, there's always a girl that's like, I love my plants. All I do is take care of my plants. That's what Yasmin's gonna be. Whoa. <gasps> ah! No, 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 no. For hair, ooh, get rid of these fucking accessories. Ugh. Let's do a little toppy naughty. Yeah. Ooh, she's gonna borrow some of Jade's hair chalk, I think. This top knot style keeps haunting me. <laughs> I don't wanna put her in a one piece. I want her to strut her stuff. To have her looking fit, mate. Ooh, I know you see me standing here. Why are you wearing socks? Do that, if you do that, I'm gonna do that. And if you do this, I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna lie, I have kind of thought a little extensively about what the zodiac signs of each of the Bratz girls would be. And Yasmin is for sure an air sign. Now, which air sign is the question? I feel like Yasmin was gonna be the hopeless romantic. Favorite color's green, like that cash money, baby. And you know what, let's make her a vegetarian. I gotta be careful though, cause sometimes your Sims will eat meat and you don't realize and they get very upset. For Chloe, I picture like a very like button nose type girl. Like she's the blonde. In every season of Love Island, they have like a bunch of blonde girls, but there's always one that always sticks out the most. So I want that to be Chloe. Shoot. Should we give? Yeah, yeah, Chloe has the lip injections. So her toppy top is gonna be croppy cropped. Look at you, oh my gosh, she's got like the Harley Quinn butt crack going on. I think I'm actually gonna make her main goal the same as Yasmin's because Chloe is a cancer. So she's gonna be looking for her soulmate. Photography, AKA Instagram. Actually, let's make her a little bit of a programmer and a video gamer. For her main traits, I'm actually gonna make Chloe the jealous one and family oriented. She wants that baby. She gonna find a baby, she gonna find a man, she find a man to make that baby with her and uh, they're gonna live happily ever after. Oh my God! Oh, now I have to make the boys. Now the thing that would make the most sense for me to do for the boys would be to model it after the boys from Bratz because I used the girls from Bratz to model after the girls. I kind of don't care about the boys that much. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make four different guys and we're just gonna make them up on the spot. So let's see, his name, he feels, he feels like a Tyler. His name is Tyler. 
for his look. I actually really, I love his facial features and everything that's already been pre-made. So we're just gonna jump right into clothes, which first thing is first, take off that shirt, you whore. <laughs> If it was my Love Island, absolutely. Let's do country. I think Tyler's gonna be a little bit of a country boy. Okay, maybe not that country. Oh, those are like Deku's shoes. He's gonna be an anime nerd too. Tyler's just gonna be like the nice guy that everyone likes and he ends up committing to the first person he pairs up with. So, oh, does this have a kiss mark on the ass? Ah, oh, yep, love that. Like he is, his neck is so girthy. He's like 90% neck up here. That's it, that's all. <gasps> what did I do to his head? But no leg day. Tyler doesn't do leg day. And Tyler's main thing is love. He's gonna fall in love with the first person he's with. Romantic, perfect. Okay, that's Tyler's personality. A romance-driven bro who likes the color purple, wants to date somebody and marry them, and uh, is very outgoing. On to the next. This guy's name is gonna be Brad. We all know a Brad. And Brad is not gonna be a fan favorite. Let me just say that. I'm gonna make him the problem. Everyone's like, why is everyone so angry? It's because of Brad. Yep, that's Brad. He's fit, mate. He's got, got, got the banter? No, but he's fit. All right. Can we give him a really flat butt though? Eh, fuck physics. He's gonna have a flat ass. <laughs> so we're gonna make him a serial romantic. He's not gonna be able to commit to nobody. Oh, and fishing, for obvious reasons. So he's he's here and he doesn't fucking know why. He just wants to be hot and cause some trouble. Evil? Should we just make him outright evil and then we'll take away the mean trait? Yeah, let's do that. Cause you can't just be mean. You should be, you know, you're gonna do something. Do it all the way. This guy's gonna be the bookworm. I want him to be like tall, dark, and handsome. He's gonna be very, very, very fit, very, No. I'm gonna name him Jules. Like, get that fucking fedora out of here. What's your What's your deal, Jules? And his favorite color is blue, orange, yellow. Let's pretend that that was the colors of his school or whatever. He's just gonna be everywhere. He's gonna be quite the intellect. Final dude. Oh, we're almost done. Thank God. You guys, this might be edited down to like five or 10 minutes, but I've been doing this for two hours. We're gonna get rid of that mustache first and foremost. Cause I kind of want to go for like a Fezco vibe. Like maybe he shaves it. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna give him a big juicy booty. For your formal wear, darling. For your dates, what you gonna wear? I apologize in advance for how many times I'm gonna go in and out of my uh, British, bad British accent, but um, I'm also not that sorry that I'm gonna stop doing it. So just get used to it. Take your motherfucking shirt off, leave your motherfucking bunny slippers on. He's like Fezco. Fezco's real name is Angus. I don't know if that fits. Fuck it. Angus, and then your overarching trait. Let's make you family oriented. I think you wanna build a family. I'm gonna make him like cats. <laughs> Gives me very much like, you know, EGOT John Legend vibes. So our final lineup for the first week of Love Island is Jay, Sasha, Chloe, Yasmin, Tyler, Brad, Jules, and Angus. We can't afford the Love Island villa. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome to Love Island! <laughs> Before we let these islanders, you know, walk around, let's take a look at the villa. Now, I tried my best to come up with something that was similar to how the original Love Island is. Some things that just make sense for Sims, because if you have so many like architectural layering the way that the Love Island villa is now, it's, it's so much. So I just made it super clear and easy. You'll see that there's also like a couple things here that aren't in the original Live Island either. Like I gave them a bar and I gave them like a dance floor with some music and a hot tub. You know, I gave them a, a few amenities because Sims tend to get like really agitated really quickly without entertainment. Downstairs we have like the new arrival bed slash, you know, I don't want to sleep with my partner tonight. We have this cute little recreational area with a hot tub, a dance floor and a bar. Then we come outside and we've got the outdoor kitchen. 
little sunbathing beds underneath these little like canopies and then over here we have the gym the gym was so hard because i wanted to kind of put it on the roof because i had a lot of room up there and i could keep adding floors but at the same time i know one of the biggest things about the whole fitness center in love island is that you can kind of gawk at people so we put it right there right in front of this cute little hangout area and of course a day bed you know you want to stay you'll spend the night on the day bed with me love so that's the first floor second floor we have the bedrooms at some point we're gonna have like six couples at a time five to six couples so you know the more beds the merrier and you guys can't really see it i don't know why the lights are not working i'll figure that out in a second but these are little dogs to indicate that this is indeed the dog house and then outside there we have this another little recreational type area where they can kind of have a private moment if they want or they can play some games and again another little bar and here we have the communal bathroom really had a lot of fun making this i love i love constructing bathrooms it's my favorite thing because i feel like the bathroom is just like the most fun to be especially for like skincare and all that super fun and just like the love island villa we have right outside the bathroom slash you know vanity area is this cute little hangout that overlooks all the activity outside so you're probably wondering where the fuck is the bonfire and where the fuck is the hideaway well let's go up to the third level so this is the hideaway it's very red very sexy and in here we have of course the bed we have a bathroom and we have a cute little seating area and then right outside on the patio is a hot tub and another little bar and some more little seating area and then there's also some like decorations and shit also cameras everywhere everywhere do you see how many cameras are just in this area bitch they're everywhere and then on the other side of the hideaway through these doors is the bonfire please gather around the fire pit I know usually the bonfire is like on the ground, but I didn't have any room, so I put it upstairs. Now that we've had the tour, now that we have the islanders, let's get going. We're gonna let them hang out for a little bit, get used to everything. I'm gonna try and not interact as much as possible. I'm just gonna let them do their thing. But if I had some like projected couplings, I feel that Brad is gonna pick Chloe seems like the kind of girl that he would like. And then Jules, I think Jules would be really, really good for Yasmin. I think they would be very cute together. All right, so Yasmin, and, okay, the girls are cooking. The girls are hanging out. Why is Sasha just talking to Brad? Ew, oh my God, the pairing we never called for. <gasps> Should we couple them up? <laughs> Sasha would eat him alive. Jules and Tyler seem to be hitting it off. They seem to be pretty good bros. There's always a bromance every season, so maybe that's it. Okay, who's hungry? See, I, I don't wanna get them too involved. I want them to like, you know, live their lives, but... Oh, Sasha, where are you going? No, you can't play chess. Come back down here. They're already pissing me off. Dude, tell Angus he looks good, Sasha. Bright and day, okay. All right, we see some pairs happening. Oh, look at Jules. He's such a cutie. Oh, I'm rooting for Jules already. <laughs> oh, you're hungry, babe. Why don't you eat? Uh, maybe just a quick meal. Ham and cheese. What, you're not, are you not allowed to? Oh, cause Brad, again! <gasps> okay, maybe Brad and Sasha are gonna be natural born enemies. I'm gonna have Tyler flirt with Yasmin. I feel like they actually might hit it off quite well. Oh, why are you sad? Why are you sad? Oh my god, she eat meats! Oh my god, I forgot she's a vegetarian! Fuck, this happens every time I play. Every time. Oh, I'm sorry. Complain about your problems to Tyler. And Tyler, it was about interests. Brighten up her day. Oh, look at that. They're getting along. Well, you're, this man has been fucking intercepting you at every single point, so why don't you try and get to know him? Okay, switch seats, why don't you? Jade, why don't you also talk to Tyler? Oh, a little bit of a love triangle going. Hmm? Get to know one at the Well, don't they nap most of the day on Love Island anyway? I mean, shit, I would. I remember in the second season of Love Island, that's what they did most of the time. If they weren't talking, they were sleeping. I don't think Sasha would be interested in Tyler. I don't think about it. I don't think that would work. I don't want to make him. No, I'm not going to really flirt yet. Although, you know, the grafting usually starts around now. What's Brad doing? Yeah, energized punching. Jesus Christ. Chloe, what are you doing? Oh, heartfelt compliment back. You brighten her fucking day. <laughs> Look at that. Yasmin made Tyler reconsider maybe becoming vegetarian. Oh, no, he likes her. Yasmin, where are you going, girl? Go get your, go talk to your boo thing. Maybe Tyler wants to get to know Jade a little bit too. 
And then Jules, I want you to get to know Sasha. Oh, they would just be so beautiful together. I feel like they would take over the world. Oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. I don't wanna freak out too much, but they're really hitting it off. And then where's Brad? Is he still punching? Good. I found a loaf. Oh, wait, he's thinking about Jade. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. I heard you, I heard you. Go talk to her. Maybe Jade can change him. And then Jade, why don't you... Uh, ma, 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 ma. They're all juiced up on the coffee. <laughs> I like this pairing. I like this, this girlfriend duo. Okay, wait, no, 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 no. Where are you going? No, no, mm, fine. Oh, Chloe, you gotta go too. See, this is why you can't you have too many Sims at once. Because, like, they're all fucking losing it. He washes his hands. Oh, I like him. Okay. All right. Damn, Yasmin. You're fucking asleep, missing all this shit. So we need to do something that's fun for her. Oh, Jay. I feel like Jay doesn't like Chloe. I don't know what it is. I just get a vibe. Chloe, why don't you... I don't know. I don't know. Drink your coffee and I'll think about what you can do. They can't have any interaction with the outside world. Oh, oh, okay. Mmm. Okay. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin anything. I really like Yasmin and Angus together, but this is spicy. Get get to know one another. Get to know him, Yasmin. <gasps> Chloe. Brad, what the fuck? Go take a nap. Ooh, Tyler's coming over to sit down and talk to her. Tyler is a little bit of a, a little romantic, isn't he? He's uh, talking to all the girls. Well, it makes sense, honestly. Like the first few weeks of Love Island, I think. It should make sense for everybody to just talk to everyone. Like, it's way too soon to be committed so fast. But Tyler is the guy who's going to commit to the first girl he's paired with. So we got to make sure it's the right fit. Sasha, just eat the food. He's talking about video games and she's just eating her salad. Oh, she's not interested. Oh, oh Tyler, you're trying though. Okay, well, I'll just walk away. Where are you going? Sasha and, and Tyler are not going to happen. That's cool. I, I think we all kind of knew that already. Sasha's feeling flirty. Oh, and Jules is here. Oh, is he into it? Is he into it? Is he into it? Yasmin's just, everyone's juiced up. Yasmin's doing sit-ups. Oh, talk to Tyler. Ask about love life. Ooh, yeah. What's your situation, babes? You're in Love Island, so clearly it's complicated. What the fuck is Brad doing? You know what? We're going to leave him out there. He'll figure it out. Oh, no, 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 you, they pair up like immediately when they get there, just based purely on physical looks. And then they realize, oh shit, these people are kind of terrible, huh? <gasps> oh, wait, who'd she, who did she have an unpleasant conversation with? With Yasmin? Let's see. Oh, <gasps> Brad. I think it has to be Brad, because he's the lowest. Well, he is evil, so. The plot thickens. Shit's already dramatic. Hello, mate. Hello, love you. How's the banter in here? You got the chat? I actually, I'm not opposed to having a, a, some LGBTQIA plus people in here, but I think the point of Love Island is to see how stupid straight people are. <gasps> She's into it! Okay, 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 okay. Flirt back, flirt, flirt, flirt. I want you to flirt. Flirt! Oh, oh my god, Sasha's right there. With that being said, everyone's gonna go to sleep. Let's assign bed. Assign left side of bed to Yasmin, and then assign right side of bed to Tyler. And then for this one, we'll do assign left side of the bed to Jade, and we're gonna pair her up with Angus. They haven't talked at all, and Angus and Chloe actually get along better but this is Love Island, so we gotta start some shit somehow. Assign right side of the bed to Chloe, and then assign left side to Brad. Then assign Sasha, Jules, and I think that's everyone. Go to sleep then, love. Why, why is everyone getting up? Go to sleep. It's the end of night one, kind of. We're gonna do one more day, and then I'm gonna pause for now because I'm pretty sure this video is gonna be very long. Oh, he's flirty. He's like horny at 3 a.m. Oh no! Oh, they really like each other. Uh oh, Tyler and Sasha are really hitting it off. <sighs> Sasha, 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 what are you doing? You guys have to play a game and you guys are gonna flirt and you're gonna fucking like it. Playing a game of chess. There's nothing sexier than chess. That's what the Queen Gambit's taught me. Describe new ideas. Ooh. Oh, she cheated! What a hoe. Here's the thing though, if Chloe goes after 
Sasha's man, I feel like that's going to be a big problem. I think Sasha would, would chew out Chloe really quick. But Sasha's also flirting around, so she'd be a little bit of a hypocrite if she said anything different. Jules makes her feel confident. Oh, maybe, they, maybe they're a good match. All right, well, that's happening. Where's Jade going? I can't make Tyler flirt with Yasmin in front of Sasha. So um, is Yasmin's like life okay? Okay, she's a little hungry. You gotta grow off to my eat. So Sasha likes Jules and Tyler. Tyler likes Sasha and Yasmin. Chloe seems to like Jules quite a bit and Angus maybe second most. Yasmin really, she only really likes Tyler, but her and Jules seem to be hitting it off as well. Brad seems to like Jade the most, actually. That's interesting. And Jade seems to like Brad the most. Angus likes Sasha the most. <gasps> and Chloe second most. Okay, Jules seems to only really like Sasha. Let me think about that for a minute. <laughs> I think the next person that I add is gonna be interrupting one of these relationships, whether it's Sasha and uh, Jules or Tyler and Yasmin. Bold pickup line. Yeah, Angus will be bold like that. Ooh, Jade's into it. She's into it. She's hungry, but she's into it. Oh, but she's also hanging out with Tyler. Doesn't she also kind of like Tyler? No, she doesn't. Brad isn't the shit starter. I am. <gasps> no, Yasmin, Yasmin. Oh, 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 where's she going? Oh, she's... No one has interacted with Brad of their own will at all. It's so... It's so funny. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Jesus, where are you going? <laughs> They're like, the only safe place to talk is in the water. I don't want him to offer a rose. I feel like that's a little too serious. Sexy pose and then we'll call it a day. Oh, he kissed her hands. I didn't tell him to do that. Should they kiss? But she's the jealous type. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Morally, I feel a bit wrong in all of this, but at the same time, I kinda don't. Oh my God, girl, no, enough, go home. <laughs> Two first kisses in the first week? Bitch. She didn't fucking notice, she's too worried about food. No. No. So Tyler and Yasmin are locked in. Jules and Sasha are still hot and heavy, but it seems like Chloe and Jules might be a thing. So we got a little bit of a love triangle going on or a love rectangle because Sasha also liked Tyler. Yasmin only has eyes for Tyler, so those two are set. Chloe is really good friends with Angus, but she likes Jules. We couldn't give less of a fuck about where Brad's at, okay? He's honestly just a placeholder. And Jade likes Angus. And then Angus likes, jo likes Jade back. Angus likes Jade back. And Tyler, oh. <gasps> Tyler still likes Sasha more. I'll probably get everybody in bed and then I'll end it for tonight. But that is the first episode of Love Island Sims with me, Michelle. I hope you guys liked this video. If you're interested in the series, uh, be sure to subscribe. I'm gonna be uploading at least a few more episodes just because I went through all the trouble of making all of this anyway. So I might as well see it to flourishing. And also be sure to let me know if you want me to include a new girl or a new guy. And if you also want them to have like a choice in who they're gonna go after once they get in the house. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye. I hate this. I hate using my husband's stuff. It, it, like all of it's far too complicated for me to understand. I'm not gonna give them so much money that they don't, oh, no, 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 no. I don't want you guys getting used to this place. Stop it. You guys ever watch the dates and you're like, wow, they really just like, threw this together with a Costco gift card.